Hey, what's going on guys? Dragon Dog here and welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. So the update just dropped and there's some new reskins and some balance changes. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the brand new Loaded Rico skin and the Sakura Spike skin. So Rico just got a brand new reskin with this update. And instead of being called Ricochet now, now his official name is Rico. The Loaded Rico skin used to be called Golden Ricochet. And personally, I like the change better because now when you shoot your shots, you shoot out little gems. The Loaded Rico skin is 80 gems right now, but if you bought the Golden Ricochet, you were able to get the Loaded Rico skin technically for only 30 gems. So with this update, you would have saved 50 gems. In my opinion, this is a steal for everyone who bought it before the update dropped. Now moving on to the balance changes, Ricochet got a damage buff, so now his bounce shots do 500 damage per shot, and his normal attack does 420 damage per shot. I think this was a well needed buff for Rico because he was slowly falling out of the meta with the new map changes because they increased the tiles of each map by 2 so therefore he couldn't get as many of those close angles like before. So with this damage buff I think he will be liable again. Hopping into the gameplay I'm not sure if you noticed throughout the match but Poku was healing me for 500 damage per shot. That's his new star power buff. I think this, this is a really good buff to Poku and it will put him back as a good gem carrier again. And I think he might have a chance to rival Pam as the best gem carrier. Finishing up this game, and I really think we had a clean win. I really am feeling the new buffs towards Rico and towards Poco Star Power. But right here, you can see the end screen. Rico's head on the opposite side falls off when he loses. I thought this was a nice little touch they added. Hopping into the second game with our brand new loaded Rico skin, reversing a Frank, Poco, and another Rico. So right off the bat, you can see me shooting my shots and you can see the gems coming out, which I think is a really nice touch to the reskin. I think the loaded Rico skin is going to be one of the more popular skins in the game as Rico is making his return into the meta. Because as you can see here, I'm hitting my shot for 500 damage per shot. This is crazy. I'm mowing down brawlers really quickly and Rico just feels really powerful right now. A side note is that Poco got a reskin and his shots have a new shot animation, which I think is really cool. His super also has a new animation too, like you see right there. So in Hard Rock Mine, Rico is really good on the right side of the map because he has that little extra wall to bounce off of, like I'm doing right now, and it can hit the opponents at an angle that they can't hit you. This allows you to keep good control throughout the whole match. You could tell if you have good control throughout the whole game if the opponents can't get out of their spawn. That's called a spawn trap when they can't get out of their spawn point and to the mine. So I'm still shooting, keeping good control of the mine. Trying to make sure that nobody breaks free. The friend kind of pushes us back a little bit though, but we keep him tamed. But right here, I use my super and I use so much damage to him. I mow him down immediately. And Frank is one of the most tankiest brawlers in the whole game. And I pretty much killed him almost instantly. So after killing him, I pretty much recharged my full super. And I just stood still and I killed the poker with my super because of how much damage it does. And I did so much DPS there that he just went down immediately. And we ended up winning the match. So hopping over to some Sakura Spike gameplay, I really like the new reskin. So Sakura Spike used to be Pinky Spike, but they changed it. So now whenever you shoot Spike shots or Sakura Spike shots, you have a new flower that shoots out. And instead of the Spike shooting out, it shoots out petals. I think that this was a really nice touch to it. And I think that it could possibly rival the Phoenix Crow skin now. I do believe the Sakura Spike skin is cheaper than the Phoenix Crow skin. So that's something to keep in mind when you're buying it or trying to decide whether you want to buy Phoenix Crow or Sakura Spike. I'm not sure if you saw it, but whenever I throw my super, it throws out a big flower, which is the equivalent to the spike trap. Also, whenever I shoot, there's this little black indention that shows up every time. Hopping right back into the gameplay, if you notice, we're using a Pam now instead of a Poco. And personally, I think I like Poco better with his star power than Pam because his star power can be really helpful in some situations. On Hard Rock Mine, I prefer Spike going to the left side because if he could sneak up the left grass and then stand in kind of the middle area of their spawn point, then he could have some really good control. However, the Rico wanted to go to the left side this game to control the, the bull and I would take the Spike. So I threw my Spike Trap down on myself to get some extra healing to help me take out the Jesse. And after our Rico went down, I rotated to the left side, mainly because I knew my side was okay because there's two brawlers that were dead. 
and I wanted to try to get some control over here. So I threw my spike trap down on myself again to get some extra healing, but he threw his spike trap down on me. So overall, I would lose 60 HP per tick instead of 560, which is definitely worth it in my opinion because it kept me alive a little bit longer. So now that we have a little bit more control, I ended up taking out the Jesse and snagging this last gem to start a countdown. We're in a really good spot right now. We have some good control and they're still pushed back a lot. So all we have to do is hold the gems for another seven seconds and we win the game. So there's only five seconds left. I threw my spike trap down to keep myself alive a little bit longer along with the healing station and we ended up winning the game. Hopping into our last game with Sakura Spike. This game is really good and I think you guys would want to watch it until the end. So this game we're versing a Darrow, a Rico, and a Poco. So right off the bat I go to the left side and I shoot my first shot up and I get a direct hit onto the Rico and I get another shot onto Rico and I take him out really quickly which is helpful because now I control the whole left lane. So now that I own the left lane, I decided to push up into that middle area that I was talking about to get a little bit more aggressive. But unfortunately, the Rico respawned, so I used my super to push him out towards the left side, and I ended up taking him out again. You should never get stuck in this situation as Rico, and you should always use your angles to your advantage. So right after I killed the Rico, the Daryl started pushing in, and I got a good shot off of him, and I missed him with my super though, which ended up costing me a little bit in a second here. So Daryl supered in onto our Pam, and he got a heal from the Poco, which ended up taking out our Pam, and he just rushed out with all the gems. I think the only reason why the Daryl survived this situation is because 1. the Poco healed him, and 2. his star power got a buff. So now he takes 40% less damage with his star power instead of 30% less damage, which is a big difference. So I decided to super the mine here to try and prevent them from getting last gem, but they muscled their way through my super and they picked up the very last gem to start their countdown. Right here though, auto clear ended up supering them and pushing them all towards the right side and I put my super down to heal myself and we take them all out, allowing us to get all 10 gems from them and winning the game. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed the brand new Sakura Spike gameplay and the Loaded Rico gameplay. Personally I think they're both really cool skins that you guys should pick up. Also we're getting really close to hitting 200 subscribers, so when we hit that I'm planning on doing a little giveaway. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe with those notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.